Authentic animal furs are used in Native American clothing, but furs are getting harder to get a hold of, and some stores have started selling fabric furs. But the Hannaville Indian Community's cultural director says there is simply no substitution for the tradition of using real fur. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Yona Gavino explains why up close. This typical Potawatomi outfit is complete with real deer hide, eagle feathers, and an otter turban. People who have gone through that. Earl Meshigod, the cultural director of the Hannaville Indian Community, explains the significance of using real animal fur in regalia. There's a spirit connected to a lot of that. Knock Bay Trading Company in Escanaba used to sell real otter, beaver, and mink pelts. Co-owner Lauren Warpel says real furs are becoming harder to get a hold of. There's an increased demand for fur that's used in the fashion world. Selling fabric fur is a new idea and will be included in the store's next catalog. Importers quit buying real rabbit fur, but the store will continue to try to get a hold of it. Right now, they sell this fabric fur for about $1.95 a yard, and it's a much cheaper alternative. There's a tradition in using real fur. For me, and I know a lot of other people that, that follow this way, it's just not going to cut it. Because I think there's so much loss. But for the so-called hobbyist people, you know, that's probably a good thing for them. And this has been done for hundreds of years. A new item has been introduced, and then a crafter will take it and uh, learn how to use it. Warple said when fur prices rose about 10 years ago, the store moved on to selling other supplies like beads and craft items. Yona Govino, TV6 News, Escanaba.